Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you Irons! Hello, welcome back to the West Ham Massive. Thanks for joining me. Please don't forget to like, comment on and share this stream to your social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're new around here. And please don't forget to hit the bell icon for alerts of new content. Please remember all these actions you can take are free of charge to you and they help grow the channel. They don't take a moment of your time either. Thank you very much indeed for your support in this matter. So, Wanted to discuss with you and get your opinions, guys, which you need to obviously get in the comment section below as we go. So, obviously, there's been a lot of transfer business we've done. We've made eight signings, good business. And as I recalled this, we've come off of the back of a very good victory at Selhurst Park against Crystal Palace. There's obviously been a lot of talk that we need to do maybe some more business, getting players out principally but there may be another player or two that's going to come through the door. Now, the one that's been most definitely linked with the club is the gentleman, Carlos Soler. But that appears to have stalled a little bit. And now there's talk that Everton might be nipping in and might get the job done. And it may be that we actually have to be on the other side of the equation to the situation unfolded with Jean-Claire Tadebo. Obviously, we had Juventus that were mucking around Nice as far as get putting the cash on the table was concerned. We've nipped in and we've managed to get the deal done. With Soler, it looks like we're the other side of that in the equation. And we're the ones that are one, you know, make it wondering when we're going to make the next move. Um, but today, and I'm going to share this with you guys. So today, this there's a few stories that are broken. This is on the One Football website. And there's several stories. There's three there at least linking the club with Tammy Abraham. Now, I did a video about Tammy Abraham maybe about a week ago in connection with the club and a number of other strikers at the time. But now there's several publications that seem to indicate that a move is very, very close to happening. I mean, this story here, Abraham discussing salary with West Ham after attempting Roma offer, says this particular report. Um this one here, the article says West Ham closing on Tammy Abraham transfer. This one here, West Ham nearing move for Roma's Tammy Abraham. So there's a lot of different publications here. You've got Get Fo Italian Football News, Football Italia, Football Today, separate publications all coming up with the same conclusion that Tammy Abraham is in dialogue with the club about a move to the London Stadium. Now, as I said in the previous video, I think if if you'd have offered Tim to me as as a you know a supporter of the club to to West Ham United, would you be interested in Tammy Abraham? A couple of years ago, I'd have said absolutely. He was a hot prospect. He he came through at Chelsea. He had time in Championship as well as sort of like as part of his development process. He played at Swansea. He played at Aston Villa. You know, he, he'd done a little bit of his apprenticeship, if you will, coming up through the ranks. Bristol City is another one to mention. And he'd done pretty well to the extent where in a difficult season for Chelsea in 2019-2020 season, he made 34 appearances in the Premier League and scored 15 goals. This was a season when they were hit with a transfer embargo and they, they couldn't maybe do a lot of the business. So Frank Lampard, who was then the manager, had to rely upon some of the players that may not have got an opportunity otherwise, and Tammy Abraham was probably one of them, but he grabbed the opportunity. As I say, 15 in 34 is not to be sniffed at, and he had 18 in 47 in all competitions. But off of the back of that, he, he obviously then the transfer embargo finished, they started doing more business, he didn't get so many minutes. And then after that, he got a, what appeared to be a pretty big opportunity, a pretty 
decent move to Serie A Roma, who were at the time managed by Jose Mourinho. Now, in his first season in Serie A, rip-roaring success, absolutely smashed it. 17 goals in 37 Serie A games in all competitions. He had 27 goals in 53 appearances. Absolutely brilliant output. And in that first season, he was part of the Roma team that carried off the inaugural Europa Conference League title the year before we won it. Absolutely brilliant. The second season, though, there was a very, very noticeable downgrade in his output. Serie A, he had 38 appearances, eight goals, and in total competitions, he had nine goals in 54 appearances. Then came the third season, which was last season, season 2023-2024, as I record this. He picked up a pretty bad injury. It was it was initially listed as a strain, according to what I'm reading. <clears throat> Excuse me. But they then said it caused a tear to his anterior cruciate ligament. Now, an anterior cruciate ligament injury is a pretty big deal. And once upon a time, it would have pretty much rendered your career over. Now, with modern technology, modern science, that isn't so much the case. However, an anterior cruciate ligament injury is still a pretty serious thing. Now, is he going to come back the same player that he was before? Is he still going to be able to have the turn, the explosive pace? Is he still going to have the power, the flexibility, all of these different things that you need? Is he going to be the same player, be able to do the same things after the injury as he could before? I would suggest not. I would suggest it's impossible. So I'm not quite sure what version of Tammy Abraham we're going to get. If it had been no injury involved, maybe I might have been interested. With the injury, I'm I'm not entirely sure. Um, Also, there's a little thing, and I found this out just sort of doing a little bit of a, a sort of jenning up and all the rest of it. Now, apparently, when he went to Roma, there was some sort of deal in... The, the contract that was drawn up between Chelsea and Roma that said that when he went, there was um, like a buyback clause of £68 million that was put into the contract. He went for £34 million from Chelsea to Roma, but there was a £68 million buyback clause. Now, it could only have been triggered after the player had completed his first two seasons with Roma in Serie A. Now, those two seasons have come and gone. And let's be honest, Chelsea are buying players left, right and centre. They'd not seen fit to go back at any point after the second season was completed and go in with a bid for Tammy Abraham. Now, the cynic in me would probably sit here and say, well, there's a reason for that. And probably the reason is, is that Chelsea are looking at him and going, "Mm, actually, he's not worth 68 million quid. And they think there's better options and they may well be correct. Um, I don't know what he's ultimately going to cost us. I mean, you know, a lot of this depends on the finances, I guess. Um, But I don't think he's going to come cheap. I don't think that he's going to, as far as his wage demands are concerned, then and this there's talk in this article saying that there is conversations between West Ham and the player um, regarding his salary. I would imagine that it's not going to be cheap as far as that's concerned. But according to this report here that I'm reading, he is apparently available for a fee in the region of 30 million euros. But apparently Roma have said they would entertain offers of approximately 25 million euros with additional bonuses. I I don't know, guys. I I just sort of have a little bit of a feeling that this this could be this could be a risky, risky move. I as I say, you might have some thoughts on it. Um, There might be some of you that maybe have watched Serie A a little bit more intently than I do. Um, Get your comments in below. It'd be really interesting to sort of hear what you've got to say about that. Um, but I think this is a risk, guys. I, I really do. I'm not quite sure that Tam, an a injury blunted Tammy Abraham is really someone that we need to be going after. I think this money could be put to better use elsewhere. I, I mean, also, there's the fact that we need to clear the decks a little bit. We need to create a space for any players that come in to, to occupy. And at the minute, we need to get the, the 
the Deadwood out, the Maxwell Cornets, the the Nia Figuera, the um the, the the sort of like Danny Ings, players like that. We we need to Kurt Zuma for God's sake, need to get him out the door, get him um, create the places and get a little bit of money back in to the coffers as well as anything else. Tammy Abraham, I'm not quite sure that's a great investment. You might have a different point of view. You might think that this is a this is a player that we maybe need to give due consideration to. Get your comments in the section below. Um, but I, I'm not so sure, guys. I, I think that it's the old thing, isn't it? Buyer beware. If you just look at his record in, in terms of, like I say, his goal output in his career, you'd look at that and you'd go, it's pretty respectable. But like I say, you've got to factor in he's had a bad injury. What? sort of player are we getting? Are we going to get a player that was the same before as he was after? I'm not so sure we will. Um, but let me know your thoughts. You've got the comment section below. Please get stuck into it. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for joining me. Please don't forget to like, comment on and share this stream to your socials. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already and hit the bell icon for alerts and all new content. Remember, all these things take you a couple of seconds, are completely free of charge to you, and they help grow the channel from their current position. And we thank you very much indeed for your support in this matter. Thanks for joining us, guys. Don't forget to give your support to the Iron Supporting Food Banks charity. We'll see you next time. Come on, you Irons. Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in New and Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you Irons!